Hello, 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 Divine Feminine. If this is your first time watching my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Everything that you're listening to right now from this moment forward is part of your message. So whether there is a song that comes forth, cards are dropping, dogs are barking, teenagers are talking, whatever's happening, it is part of the message. Nine of Pentacles, yes, ma'am. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful, high vibrational comments. I really appreciate the way we support each other in the comments section. If you like the way I read, everything that you need to know about me can be found in the description box below. My personal readings are called Love and Light Sessions, book one. It'll be just like two old friends talking over Tarot. This, uh, message is for the Divine Feminine. I want, my intention is, um to kind of touch your soul a little bit, do some soul work uh, with you, for you, because of you. <laughs> and I'm going to get a lot of help from the spirit guides and the ascended masters and Holy Spirit and Father God and Mother Gaia and uh, the Orishas and just everybody, just help, help, helpers from the divine realm, right? I'm going to pull four cards from the minor arcana. Uh, for earth, air, fire, and water for all the four elements. And then I'm going to pull one major arcana card and let's see what spirit has to say about it. And then we're going to pull a healing card um, uh, from the deck called Heal Yourself. And we may pull a Work Your Light card. It depends on how the timing is going on the reading or where we're going, where we're ending up. So let's get started. Um, these decks have already been shuffled. I'm just moving them around in my hands. Don't worry, I already, I did the work already, but I do want to split one more time. From the bottom. <laughs> Appropriately fired. Six of Wands. Somebody did some work. Somebody's happy about their progress. Oh, but. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I don't know why. I'm out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling maybe rejected, feeling icy. Icy. I, um, somebody might not be happy about it. We'll see. But that's what you're. This is what you're displaying, this vic victory or being victorious or being a champion or having somebody champion you, uh, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. But um, what you're experiencing from the others, this is, might, might be what you're uh, receiving, even though you don't care. <laughs> Maybe you're coming in from out of the cold, but you're having victory there. Nine of Swords. This is your thoughts all about the anxiety and the worry. Okay, so you definitely want the victory and the two of cups. This is about partnership, definitely not about union. You might be coming, I feel like you might be healing some family relationships after um, doing some work. So you want the victory. You want the victory in your life after feeling neglected, abandoned, you know, uh, I'm even hearing misled. I'm ready to get rid of the anxiety and the worry, the depression for some of you, the sleepless nights. Um, and you want the partnership of family, friends, real love. This is about a partnership, a romantic love too, but it doesn't have to be. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how the cards lay. But what is spirit bringing to bear on this? This is what spirit is bringing to bear on this. Ooh, I want that. that was a lot of messages. So, okay. I'm not going to take all those cards. I only need one, really, but I do want to say this. I'm definitely feeling that. Somebody, whoever this is, you've, you've gone through a lot of changes, and it took and it took you a lot to start working with people again. It took you a lot to open up your heart and be vulnerable, and you really, really trusted the divine. You really, really trusted your higher self in this. Like Some of you, you, you might have even said, if it wasn't for God, you know what I mean? You wouldn't even be here. You Good, good thing, God. Listen. You know what I mean? It's like I I couldn't do this in and of myself. That's what I'm feeling very strongly with this. Um, okay, so we have Leo Sagittarius Aries out here. We have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. We have uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We literally have fire, earth, air, and water. <laughs> That's literally... That's literally how I was calling the cards. Fire, earth, air, and water in, in that order. Amazing. Let me get one major arcana. But you have gone through some big, 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 big changes. There are probably at least four or five major arcanas in your life. But let's see where, where, where we're dealing with today. <laughs> well, so appropriate. The magician. 
Now, say you've gone through some big, 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 big changes, and you got it all, fire, earth, air, and water right there on the table, right there in front of you. You are coming up, Divine Feminine, as the magician, as I check into your energy, the energy of this collective. And I thank you for messages, Spirit, for this collective that feels like they are the magician. They can do anything. They can have anything. Have, do, be anything. It's all at their disposal. I think this is, a, I've gotten this, this is air and fire with this card, but I've gotten this card several times in several readings over the last couple of weeks. The magician. Um, let me go put one card on each one of these and we'll tell a little story, get to the message. Oh, how'd I get in there? I'll take it. Interesting. The temperance card is in my minor arcana deck. I am going to use it, but I'm going to put it right here. And I feel like after coming through the highs and lows and the ups and downs and learning, um, even some self-control, some patience coming into balance and some harmony, this is about learning the life's lessons and uh, learning how to be a little more tempered with the temperance. With the chariot, oh, this this is fire energy. With the chariot card, this is like the the sister or the opposite of the chariot card. The chariot card is hot and heavy, you know, just kind of, you know, out there coming in, you know what I mean? But the temperance is like, no, I've learned a few things about a few things, you know, Sagittarius energy out here, but I've learned a few things about a few things. And so I'm, you know, I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to exercise some self-control. I'm going to, you know, um, manifest my healing, like kind of enjoy my healing. I've, you know, I've come a great distance and everything. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm good. I'm good. So I'm, you know, I'm going to handle life with finesse, with a poise, with a grace that I never knew before is what I'm going to do. I'm the magician now. So, you know, I, I know I can do and have and be anything I want to do, have and be, but I'm going to exercise a little self-control, a little patience, a little balance. I'm going to, again, I'm going to guard my healing. In other words, I feel like, yeah, one of the things that you feel like you can have, do, and be is be healed. I want to move in this life with temperance. I want to move in this life as a healed person, not as a, as a, as a, hellion or a wild wild stallion i want to you know what i mean so you know there's finally i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel finally the road is starting to make sense finally um you know my my thing my, my life is blossoming places and things in my life is blossoming. Finally, I'm on solid ground. You know, finally I'm grounded on, um, in, on the earth. I'm grounded in, in my feelings. My, my head and my heart are in synchronicity and balance now. You know, again, I'm just, you know, temperance. All right. That's what that is. That's what that is. Good, good on you. All right. From the six of wands to the seven of wands. I know who I am. I know what I've come through. I have the victory. I have the wreath and everything. I'm going to parade through y'all, all of y'all, walk right through, right down the middle. I'm going to have a parade even if nobody comes. It's my party. I'll, and I'll celebrate if I want to. And I'll defend it if I have to. Six of wands and seven of wands. That is a pro progression. You know what I mean? You know, fought hard because before that is the five of wands. That's all about inner conflict or family conflict, conflict coming from the outside, conflict coming all around. But you you beat that, got to the six of wands, and now standing in your power, standing in your power, seven of wands. I'm, I know who I am, and I'm ready to defend that at all costs. You're not going to talk me out of this one. You're not going to talk me into a corner, and you're not going to talk me out of this one. Again, could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Girls, I'm working. That's not part of the message. I can't even incorporate that. Unless we talk about the bickering, right? Ten of cups on the five of pentacles. Where there once was lack, there is fulfillment now. Where there once was a loss, there is now, every, everything, is, everything is coming up roses. This is the ten of cups emotionally stable, emotionally happy, fulfilled after coming from a very low place after coming through four of pentacles is um about self-control not control but being controlling somebody was controlled and they just finally left the situation and they were out in the cold you felt abandoned for a moment but you knew you were headed towards something somebody might have even felt crippled by the situation you know um put upon icy cold stubborn there there's um you know some uh frigidity you know, just, just not your emotional needs were you were starved. You weren't getting the attention you desired, but now because of that temperance, because you're the magician, because of the victory, because of knowing who you are, standing in who you are, you're having that 10 of cups after coming out of something very, very, um, 
a lot of deprivation, being deprived of, of emotional, um, you know, stability, being deprived of, of feeling loved. It's even because it's coming up as earth. Um, you know, you were Sydney, I'm working quiet. Sorry. She's looking out back. I think it's a rabbit outside. Mm, wrap it outside. I don't know. But anyway, but uh, moving on, moving in the earth, you felt like, you know, um, almost like people were walk, watching or judging, you know, the way you looked because of something you had come through, maybe because of the conflict that you kept enduring consistently over and over again. You probably felt, you know, the people around you probably felt as they observed you, I mean, um, that, you know, look at him, look at him. You, judge, you know what I mean? Just like, that's how you, that's how you felt. I'm out, I'm out here, man. I'm just out here all by myself. Like nobody gets it. Nobody cares. You know, I, it's, it's hard to find love. Is there any love out here? Right. And the two of cups. Yeah. Is out here with the emotions. You know what I mean? So you, you know, you, whew, that 10 of cups brought in that two of cups. You know, the, because the emotions are there, you can, you can offer your cup or partner with somebody else. I'm still feeling a lot of family reconciliation. Again, I know this is a, um, can be a romance, um, but we'll see. Like I said, when we put a card on it, we'll see, but I feel like this is a family situation. I don't know. Like an identity, identity or something. I don't know. Okay. Yep. Yep. Leaving, leaving a place, leaving a, leaving a way of being. You know, this is not even a, a location. This is a way of being. Six of Swords, again, uh, Swords are about communication. It's also about thoughts, you know, uh, cognition, the way you think, how you think, why you think what you think. And this anxiety, this Nine of Swords here, you know, that's... All the worry and the stress was about, I got to, I got to, I can't do this anymore. I got to do a, I got to have a new way of being. I got to do a little better. I have to. Six of Swords, right? That's what that is. Let me put one more card on that. Oh, really? Five of Swords and Six of Swords. That's why you had to roll out. I'm telling y'all, this feels very much like a family situation. Five of Swords. Somebody bullying you. Somebody trying to intimidate you. Somebody needing to have the last word. Somebody always trying to fight. Somebody always trying to argue. Lots of conflict, bickering, um, back, the uh, pettiness, uh, yeah, bickering pettiness, you know what I mean? Just a mocking, mockery, you know what I mean? Just, just going through it. Five, five of Swords is that, whew, that Five of Swords. And you got to watch those folks having to watch your back. You hear the dog keeps gibbering, gibbering, jabbering. That's probably part. Sydney, stop making noise, please. I'm working. See, I had to tell her. See, I had to tell her something. She was aggravating me, Nine of Swords. Not aggravating me, but, you know. <laughs> and I'm telling her, you got to get out of here, Six of Swords, because I'm tired of you trying to have this last word. I'm tired of you trying to compete with me with talking. Competition. I'm tired of you trying to compete with me. I'm trying to do a reading, and you stand it word for word, word for bark, 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 word, word, word. Come on. I'm telling you. I ain't going to tell you no more. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you no more. I told you. I'm leaving. You leaving. I'm leaving. We leaving. I'm going to a better place. Right? Put one on the Two of Cups. Uh -huh. healing told you healing relationships family relationships healing that does not feel romantic to me <sighs> healing might be even with your mother queen of pentacles you see what i'm saying healing from your relationships with your mother mother issues ready to ready to deal with it finally dealing with it Finally going through enough, growing up enough, finding enough um, balance, you know, to deal with it. Finding that that cool, clear water. Finding that solace. Finding those peaceful waters. Just a place to rest. You might go to the park and read or journal. Um, you you know, you you were trying to go around this, but, but Spirit said, no, you got to go through this. You're the magician. Don't worry. You have everything you need to be able to handle this. Like, I definitely feel like this is some mothering motherly energy and it's a it's a uh, again a wound that needs to um that's healing that's healing and has healed for some of you right but you definitely had to move away from this this that you might have had a mom that you know 
Yeah. It was jealous, competition. You probably even couldn't believe. I can't believe this is my mom. This can't be my mom. You know what I mean? Queen of Pentacles here is um it could it can represent a mother, but I'm, you know, there was um you know, your mom might have been preoccupied with work, you know, too too busy with work, trying to build a name, build a legacy, I don't know, build a nest egg, something, but you felt, you know, neglected. You felt that your emotional needs, Ten of Cups, were neglected, that you felt out in the cold. You know what I mean? Your emotional needs were not met, you know, and you very much wanted that. You wanted that Ten of Cups, but you were walking around the world in this Five of Pentacles energy, feeling abandoned, but this was always the goal. This was always the dream, and you knew that you were going to get that at all costs. Came through some bumps and bruises, you know what I mean? Came through some stuff, because like I said, if I ever want to put one more on this, wow. Yeah. You know, are you standing your ground? Because you know what makes you happy now. Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could be dealing with, or you could be a water sign watching person, but you feel victorious. You finally conquered that that mountain, and you know what you want. You know what makes you happy, and you have the, the chutzpah to defend it, to stand your ground at all costs. Whether your mother is living or um, transitioned, it needs to be dealt with nonetheless. Give me a healing card, please, Spirit. What would you, what's the card you want to use for hearing? This is a newer deck, guys, so I'm going to pull right from the book. Oh, I couldn't make this up if I tried. Y'all saw that. Inner Child. Let me grab the book. Healing the Inner Child. Give me one second when I turn. It's card number 16, which is a seven. And y'all know how I feel about numbers. Seven is enlightenment. <laughs> Sydney, somebody did a lot of bickering. Chill out. Somebody has a spiritual awakening. This is about studying. You might have done some research on this. You might have gone to therapy about your inner child. You might have um, gotten a, a deeper education. You might even be writing about uh, healing your inner child or writing helps you heal your inner child. Okay? But um, listen to this. Your inner child is urging you to lighten up a little. Get out of your comfort zone and have fun. Let me just look at this card right quick. Two of Cups. Joining with somebody, getting with other people. Like-minded people. Healthy people. People that have done the work just like you. Offering your cup. They're offering theirs back. Reciprocity. Getting out there again. Trusting again. Working with somebody again. Right? That's what that is. Get out there and have fun. Not on, not on your own with someone else, okay? Um, lighten up a little, get out of your comfort zone and have fun. In order to be healthy, we must engage our imagination, creativity, and spontaneity. We must have that engaged. When, we, when was the last time you did something spontaneous, intuitive, outrageous? It's been a while because you've been in this five of swords, uh, uh, seven of wands energy. So it's been a while since, and nine of swords is out here. It's been a while, but you're coming out, right? When was uh, when and with whom do you feel uninhibited, relaxed, and completely comfortable to be yourself? Your inner child can be your strongest ally or your biggest foe. It can assist you to heal your childhood pain, rejection, loneliness, and abandonment. It can take you on an exciting adventure, help you become more confident, daring, original, and bold. Or it can make you behave in childish ways, bring up anxiety, fear, and suspicion. This card beckons you to heal your childhood pain and discover your independence, compassion, creativity, talents, and joy. A healthy inner child can help you connect to your integrity. Divinity and purity can also be connected when you heal your inner child. It believes in miracles and creates magic in your life. Yeah, those, those little inner, inner little girls are crying out. I want to read you the, um, well, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end if I, if I remember. Okay, so healing from those mother wounds, healing your inner child. Is there any other thing, Spirit, that you want to say by way of healing? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, five and 34. Seven is out here. Again, uh, so inner child... Is 16, which is a card number seven. 
Well, I mean, not card number seven, the number seven. And then entrapment, three plus four. It's card number 34 and the number seven. Two sevens out here. And this card is about the um, people, places, and things that are around you that cause you to be inauthentic. You're, you're ridding yourself of that. That's like I said, with the seven of wands here, you're, ri you're ridding yourself of the entrapment by standing your ground. Because this card is about what's being healed is other people's expectations of who you should be. Other people telling you what you should do. Too many people on the outside telling you who to be on the inside. Therefore, you were feeling Nine of Swords trapped by it. You were feeling trapped by that, trapped by the expectation. And you finally had to let that go and get, get away from that. Six of Swords, right? You were tired of being bullied. You were tired of being judged. You were tired of being um, uh, lambasted traumatized, you know what I mean? Just uh, mocked, ridiculed because of who was around you and who was connecting you. But you you overcame this obstacle by defining yourself for yourself, by yourself, through knowing spirit in a more intimate way, through connecting to your divinity, right? Right? And so two sevens. And then the other one is sadness, card number five, which is about a major, uh, major changes or change. Let's see what the sadness that you're coming overcoming with this mother wound. Let's see what the card says. It's easy to swallow your sadness and hide behind a fake smile. Yet sadness can open the door to your heart and help you access compassion. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them and let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your heart, body, and soul. Spirit is saying crying and feeling vulnerable can be a sign of strength, which demonstrates your connection to your body. I think I said earlier that um, we needed to allow our, our, we needed to feel through these emotions. We're not going to be able to go around this obstacle. We're going to have to go through it. And that's the same thing with pain or trauma or disappointment or, or grief or sadness or sorrow or whatever is breaking your heart, Divine Feminine. You're going to have to go through it when, you, when we talk about healing. There are no shortcuts. There are no cliffs notes. You just simply have to do it. So if you feel like crying, Go ahead and cry. It is a release. It is a purging. It is a cleansing. It's a purification. Your tears are is your body's way of releasing pent up emotions. It's like a self cleaning oven. You know what I mean? Just let it flow. Turn it on. Leave it. Let it go. You don't try to quench it. You let it run its course. You know what I mean? And then you wipe away this this tears or wipe away the stain or wipe away the the mess. You know, wash your face afterwards. But be in wallow in it give your allow yourself give yourself the grace to wallow in that sadness that mothering uh, or lack of mothering wound give yourself the grace to do that how can you mother yourself think about that think about ways that you can love on that inner child think about ways that you can uh, protect that in that little you think about ways that you can be loving to yourself because it, it it's not like you the mother wound only heals when you, when you tap into the mother inside of you. And this is whether you have natural kids or not. You don't need to have children from your womb to be a mother. You don't. You, you can mother your pets. You can mother your plant. You can mo mothering is nurturing. It's another word for uh, nurturing. It's another word for anticipating needs and, and supplying needs, caring, nourishment. You know what I mean? So fit divine feminine, nourish yourself. Feel the sadness, be there, be in the moment. Don't try to go, go around it. Don't try to avoid it. Don't try to deny it. Live in it for a moment. It's just, it's just a moment, and but it's going to be so therapeutic. You're not going to even believe your own eyes. You're not going to even believe it. Let's get one. Uh, so that's what Spirit is saying by way of healing. Ooh, as we get through this message. Um, give me a work your light card. Give me just one oracle card from this deck. Something I can tell the lovely divine feminines that are ready to do that work. Yep, 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 yep. And here's why you're doing it. Here's why you're doing it. Because you are a warrior woman. How have you answered your deepest calling? How? And look at that sword. Look at that air. You see that? See that air she's holding? Having a, having a sound mind. Being standing in her power. It makes me think about the Seven of Wands card. Let me put this card down for one second and see what the message is in here. Yeah. 
Some of you are finding out the reasons why you were born by, by dealing with this, by coming face, face, you know, head on with this mother wound. You are here for a reason. You are being called to bravely pave a path. How have you answered your deepest calling? Have you even answered it? Living a heart and soul led life is not as all fluffy and smooth sailing. No, nobody said this is going to be easy, divine feminine, but we said it was going to be worth it because living this kind of life that you are called to live requires courage and you have to triumph over the fear. Sometimes fear isn't an indication that we are facing the right way. So if you are, if you have been afraid, I feel like you're coming out of this. But those of you who are, if this is past energy, then kudos to you for doing the work. If this is, you're just coming up to this with this leg of your journey, listen. A fear is sometimes an indication that you are headed the right way. You, some of you are not going to go any further. You see that sword right there? You're not going to go, see how she's hiding behind that sword? You know, hiding behind the truth. Hiding from the truth. You know what I mean? You're, you're still a warrior woman. There's still there's still yet a battle to fight. There's still yet some demons to slay, right? Some some um, shadow energies to overcome. Not I didn't say cast them away. I just said subdue them. Take authority over them. Because remember I said you need that shadow with that light. You won't know one without the other. One cannot exist without the other. But the point is that fear that you have about finally just dealing with this wound surrounding your mom it's worth it and you can do it. And it's an indication that you're going in the right direction. It's time. You've done everything else. You've hit on all the other cylinders, but now this was that last piece. This was that last thing. And you are coming up again as the magician. You can do this. You can do this. You've gone through something. You've gone through trials and tribulations. You've done some things. You've got a little experience under your belt. You have the balance now to do this. Okay, you have the you have the the amount of healing that you needed so that when you did start to face this thing, you wouldn't be utterly overcome. You're the warrior woman. Embrace it. Embrace your sword of truth and begin to cut away the lies that you believed about yourself because something your mother said or didn't say, something your mother did or didn't do, something you thought you needed, but now you see that you didn't need it. All you needed was to understand who you are. And when you started standing in your truth, everything you needed, magician, came right to you. Help, therapists, friends, real friends, nurturers, empaths, other light workers, um, love, uh, true friendship, uh, you know, reciprocity, everything you needed, you know, ten of cups, emotional well-being, somebody feeding your emotions, somebody encouraging you. You know what I mean? You actually feeling good about your accomplishments, accomplishing things and feeling good about it. You know what I mean? Getting kudos from family and friends, people that actually cared for you and rooted for your success and not tried to undermine you or made you feel like it was, it was you know, minimize your accomplishments that for some of you, not all of you, but you know where you are in this. Um, yeah. So um, I think that's all um, I want to say. I want to leave you with an exercise that comes right from this book. From the inner child deck but first i gotta give you an oracle card spirit what do you want to is there anything you want to say uh yes 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 and then one more card came down what was that <laughs> of course big happy changes for you divine feminine for doing the work communicate clearly for some of you this card for me means that your mother is still here and you're going to have to have a conversation. When you do communicate clearly, you'll be healed enough and you will know when that is time. Don't rush it. You'll know when it's time. Spirit's going to make it nice and receptive. He's going to make the atmosphere conducive for you to have the conversation that you need to have. Whether you're cutting something off, cutting her out, or healing healing the relationship. So you might have that sword to get out of there. You might offer a cup. I don't know, you might have to give a pinnacle, pay some money back or receive some money. But either way, you're going to be passionate in doing so with that wand there. You have everything you need to have this conversation and you have everything you need to move forward from this place from here. So here's an exercise that you can do if you choose to um, about healing the inner child. Find a photo of you as a child between the ages of three and eight. Look at the picture. What do you see in your eyes? What is the expression on your face? Is this little child, if she had a voice, what would she say to you? Take some paper and using your non-dominant hand, write, dear, insert your name, 
I feel, and then begin to write. Say what you feel. Say what you feel. Give the little you a chance to express itself. Then write a loving response from the adult you. Ask the child in you what she needs to feel better. And then follow that recommendation. I love that exercise. Came right from the book, In a Seagull, Heal Yourself um, Oracle Deck. Re Heal Yourself Reading Cards. Um, one Angel Oracle and we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Happy healing. You can do the work. You got this all day, every day. Divine Feminine. Yep. And that's why you, didn't I tell you, you don't have to be a natural mother to mother. Look at this, indigo and crystal children. Some of you work with kids. Some of you are drawn to kids. Some of you kids are drawn to you because that's just who you are. Archangel Metatron says you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. That's really what was going on. Divine Feminine, your job, part of your life purpose and mission is to help children that were like you. Your mother didn't know how to handle what you had. Your mother didn't know how to cover, protect, nurture, cultivate your gifts and talents and callings, or even explain who you were because pretty much she didn't know who she was either. You know, hurt people hurt people, right? But you, Divine Feminine, are called to help and love and nurture children. That is how you mother yourself. That is how you mother someone else. When you nurture children, you are actually nurturing and caring for your own inner child. But you are called to the indigo and the crystal babies. They need what you have. They need that nurturing that you got. You are 10 of cups, right? You are 10 of cups. So you have it to give. And like I said, healing all around for everyone. So there is your angel oracle message. Thank you so much for watching. Again, you are not alone in this journey. Just reach out. Your soul tribe is around to help. Okay? Thank you. Love and light to you. If you uh, resonated with this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe. It puts your energy in the cards for the next readings and the upcoming readings. I appreciate you. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Later.